Okay then gang, so this marks the end of the series. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it and that you've learned at least something along the way. Hopefully you all have. And hopefully I've also given you a good introduction to progressive web apps and how to make fully functioning offline apps that can be installed onto mobile devices. Now we've seen how to do a lot of things over the last 30 lessons or so. We've seen how to create a web app manifest file to specify information about our app. We've added our app to the mobile home screen on the Android emulator. We've registered and installed service workers for our application. We've pre-cached assets and also dynamically cached assets for offline behavior. So users can still view the app and play around with it offline. We've created a fallback page for uncached routes and we've used Firestore and IndexedDB to use offline data and background sync, which is really, really awesome. We've finally deployed our app to Firebase Hosting so we can see this address up here online and then we've tested everything on an Android emulator to make sure it's all working correctly. So there's been quite a lot that we've covered here. There's actually one more thing I want to do and that is to rerun an audit. So let me come over here and make sure progressive web app is checked and run audit. Now I want to do this because there was one check that we weren't passing before. We weren't rerouting HTTP requests to HTTPS, but Firebase hosting automatically reroutes HTTP to HTTPS. So now we should have satisfied that last remaining criteria for a PWA. And you can see that we do right here. So now green ticks, all the way down. So there we go, my friends. That is our PWA done. So hopefully now you're in a good position to go out and start learning more about PWAs because this was pretty much just the beginning. There are other features that you can bring into your app, such as using device features like the camera or geolocation, or maybe sending the user push notifications to re-engage them with the app. Now, I will be doing another whole series on push notifications and Firebase messaging in the future, and possibly also on other things as well, such as Workbox, which is really gonna help you when you're creating PWAs and caching things. But until then, my friends, keep on practicing and hopefully make some awesome PWAs of your own. If you do, feel free to leave the link down below and share it with the rest of the crew. Thanks for watching again. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this series. If you have enjoyed it, then please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. And I'm going to see you very soon in the very next playlist that I create.